Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to show you what are the new features of Windows 11 build 22579. So let's first go to the task manager. You will be able to see this new uh, icon for the run new task that is there. And this icon becomes visible for all the tabs that have been added to the task manager. So we can just go to the performance tab or to the app history, startup, users, details and also to services and you can see that the run new task has, is consistently present on the upper part. Now another feature that is there is the print queue experience. If we uh, go to the notepad and let's write something some and if we try to print it there is a new print experience that comes with this and as you can see there they have also updated this entire experience and uh, it also includes win32 apps that which uses the cprint dialog to display the print dialog that will now show the modern print dialog that is there in addition the modern print dialog also di discovers local network printers automatically and if you choose a new printer it will be installed without you needing to go to settings so if you connect it it will install it on its own and you do not go to the settings to manually install the drivers and uh, also another feature that is there if we go to the start menu you get to uh, you remember those uh, folders were added right now also they allow you to change the name of the folder so you can just change it to whatever group of apps that you are adding like that so for example if we just uh, add settings with alarm and clock and uh, create and cal calendar notepad and then I'll rename it to system apps so as you can see it gets renamed accordingly now uh, to ensure that users are able to access the terminal easily they have added remapped the windows plus x to terminal now windows plus x previously used to open this menu that is there and uh, also for me it is opening they have pointed windows plus x to powershell now i don't know it's not working for me currently so it might be in the coming uh, updates it will be fixed properly and will be available to all the insiders that are there and uh, if you have windows terminal installed then you would like uh, windows powershell to open in the windows terminal then they recommend us to go to settings privacy and security for developers and in settings windows terminal you can set as windows terminal as the default one now the magnifier and the on screen keyboard has fluent style icons so if we just open magnifier and uh, the on screen keyboard they both have the fluent icons as you can see in the taskbar you notice the new type of icons that they have been assigned with if you open get started here we will have certain apps that will be pinned in the bottom part which will include web apps that are there but uh, for my update they have not added it yet so the web apps not available there instead I will show you the screenshot that they have shown there so that you can understand also they are have updated multi-touch gesture and with three fingers you can now easily switch between two windows also another feature that they have added let me open notepad to show you in uh, windows emojis wait a second yes now the emojis those that are customizable have a small dot in the right part so let us find such an emoji so, as you can see there is a small dot in the right part because it is customizable so you can just customize the emojis as you like now from quick settings the keyboard layout 
the keyboard layout section has been removed from here. As you can see, it is not available anymore in the pinned section. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful, then do like it and subscribe to my channel. And also do comment what you think about Microsoft is going with Windows 11 and if they are being successful after the Windows 10. Let me tell you something that I also make review videos and they are not cheap, they are quite costly. So I recently met one, the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G and it took a lot of effort but did not get much attention. So please if you want, you can go and watch this video. The link is there in the description or you can click, click on the i button up there. So just click there so you can go and watch it. And if you like the video, do comment how you feel about the video, what you like and don't like about the video, just comment down there so that I can improve my video in the coming episodes. And also, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you want more review videos like that.